Hello everyone and welcome back to my crypto journal. This week we've had a ton of coins make some moves, most of which happened to be Chinese coins like NEO and Ontology, but there were some others such as Qtum. I think this had something to do with the whole pro blockchain China news that came out earlier this week, but in my last video where I covered NEO, I did mention that if a move were to happen, that it would probably stop around 120k sats. Here's a little flashback of that video. And you guys can see I've got this green line over here, turn it into red just so you can see that indicates resistance and that would be around a 32 percent move i can see neo doing that i've seen other coins do that such as um i think it was xlm xlm did a 30 percent move in the past week so i could definitely see neo bouncing here so as you can see i didn't get it exactly right but it was close enough considering we've already began to retrace quite significantly so today i'm going to be going over my thoughts on the neo btc pair as well as the neo usd pair so let's get right into it all right so here we have the neo move and you guys can see we got a nice blast off around a 49 percent move if you managed to catch it all which i did not now you guys can see like in my previous video i did have this resistance around 120k sats we happened to surpass that by around 13 percent now this is a place where i decided to take profit because we had the red moving average coming up and typically this provides pretty good resistance so i did expect a sell-off and we managed to get a nice sell-off around a 15 percent 17 percent sell-off however i don't think that's going to be it now i didn't take off all my position just in case it went higher but i did take a significant portion off because i wanted to secure those profits in case we went lower now after a move like this you can expect them to make higher highs after a retrace comes in and I'm looking for NEO to retrace even deeper than this, possibly back to this yellow line and maybe lower. We can see the moving averages are beginning to coil up and will probably provide support for NEO. However, it wouldn't be surprising to me if we managed to get lower than these moving averages because typically, like I said, these moves tend to go lower than we expect them to go. But overall, I like what NEO is doing. We've got the volume to back it up. We've managed to break above resistances, although nothing too significant because we can see in the past, NEO has managed to get above the red moving average, but not much really came out of it. We managed to actually go lower. So NEO has a lot of work to do and it's by no means bullish just because it made this move out of here. Now, this does provide us with trading opportunities, but as for investing, I'm not really interested in getting into this for the long term because it could end up going lower, but I'm interested in trading this a little higher if it shows me that's what it wants to do and right now my plan of action is to try to accumulate neo around the 100k mark and possibly a little lower if it manages to break below these moving averages so as of right now this is pretty much a waiting game to see how low will neo go before it decides to turn around and we see the volume come back in but it's looking pretty good so far we've managed to hold this level for the past couple of days around three months so this is definitely a point of interest around the 83k sat region i don't really i don't really want to see us break below here otherwise that could spell bad news for neo meaning we'll go probably lower just like we did when we broke this moving average towards the upside but continued to break bottoms and head lower so that's definitely a possibility something that's on the table and something to take into consideration but what about the bullish scenario how high is this thing going to go if it decides to get going and what are the percentages that are involved with this trade well i'm not going to make this too complicated because the way i see it there's a couple of spots neo could head towards where it will face resistance as it begins to unlock levels so right now we unlocked level one so this first spot we hit was a critical resistance that we managed to bounce off of and now we're heading towards the downside so now that we've hit that support that's not going to be as significant going forward so the next spot i see us possibly heading to is around the 158k region now if we manage to get to 100k sats and all the way up there that's about 50 percent yeah around 54 percent so that's looking like a pretty nice trade but i like to have other targets in case it goes higher which neo could possibly do so we have the 150k region which is the second target and then we have around 200k sats which is my third region now we could go even go higher than that which is my last target around 276 so let me just label these out real quick so those are my targets right there now i can't really tell whether they're going to do this all in one move or are they going to give us moves like this where we retrace go up retrace and go up it's really impossible to tell how they're going to do this but this is what i currently see on the charts now just because i have that target three over there doesn't mean automatically that we have to head towards there it is a potentiality meaning if it manages to pass t2 t3 is probably where it's going to head towards before it begins to retrace now if you manage to make it all the way up there from 100k sats that's around 876 percent move i think that's entirely possible with neo considering it hasn't really had any moves for a very long time the last time we had something like that was back in december 2017 so that's been a while our biggest move on neo was around i think 50 percent if i'm not mistaken we can see back here in december we had a 50% move. So that's telling me that NEO doesn't really make huge moves. However, we might have an exception over here considering that we've retraced for such a long time. And we're practically almost back to the bottom levels. However, it could retrace a little deeper if we manage to break below 73k sats. And that's not really far off from where we are. So right now I see NEO as looking 
pretty good. I think it's setting up for potentially bigger moves. I don't want to see a break below 82k sats because then it opens up the doors for lower targets. It has moving averages coming up to support it, but remember, we still have the red moving average we have to get past to actually unlock the higher levels over here. But so far, it looks pretty positive. This move out here was pretty strong. Nice volume backing it up, even though we can't really see it on the one day unless I zoom in. So I like what I'm seeing here with Neo. Definitely going to keep an eye on it in the weeks to come because we can see there is definitely interest around Neo. So let's move on to the Neo USD pair, as I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that are probably wondering what the hell is going on with that pair. So the Neo USD pair is a little different from the BTC pair because we happened to get this move as Bitcoin was moving from around 7.2 or 7.7 .7 to around 10.5. So instead of getting that 50% move we got on the BTC pair, we actually doubled it on the Neo USD pair, which is amazing if you managed to get it from around $6.70. Now, like I said, this one's a little different. Considering that I don't think Bitcoin is going to be going any higher, and I think Neo is going to be retracing a little bit deeper. We could see Neo head back towards the $8 or $7.85 level. I'm looking for us to stop going down around this level. However, we could also go down to around the $6.80 level. So it's not a big difference. It's about a almost 10% difference. And I think that's totally acceptable because if we manage to break below this $6.85 level, then we're probably going back down to $5 to create a double bottom like we had back in the end of 2018. Now, although the percentage gains could be greater on the USD pair, I don't think the USD pair is actually better than the BTC pair, simply because since Bitcoin is going to be going down, or I think it's going to be going down, in the near term, the USD pair is going to have a little bit of trouble going up if Bitcoin goes down. So I'd rather just trade the BTC pair to stay on the safe side. However, that doesn't mean there isn't trades to be had here. And if I was going to trade this, I would make it very, very simple. We can see we managed to run up to about $20 last time we made this run from about 5 bucks. So I would keep this pretty simple and say if we were to head a little higher, then we would probably head back to resistance, which is about 20 bucks. That's pretty much where I'd put it. I'd actually take it even lower around the $18 region just to stay safe. And it would create sort of an accumulation phase. You guys can see here, we're kind of bouncing up and down, up and down. We haven't exactly hit the low, the bottom over here. So it leaves a little bit of space, but I wouldn't be surprised to see us go up to around $18 even if Bitcoin is going down, but this would require Neo BTC to kind of carry this pair and go a little higher. And that's where the 170% gain that we saw on the Neo chart on target three comes in because Neo BTC can carry this chart to $18 if Bitcoin isn't plummeting towards the downside. But in my opinion, the USD pair is a lot harder to trade. I think you'd have to be more advanced if you're going to be trading the USD pair. But in the end, this isn't really financial advice. So the responsibility is on you guys to take the trades you think you can. I'm just here to share my thoughts on what I think is going on. And this is pretty much what I think is going on. I think we could potentially see us go to $18 if Bitcoin doesn't plummet and NEO BTC does the move I mentioned earlier in this video. But that is pretty much it for this video. I think NEO has a lot of work to do. And I think we'll have a lot of time to make decisions. So I'm not really looking to rush into any NEO moves right now. If it happens to take off, then guess what? There's plenty of other opportunities out there for me to take advantage of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content in the coming weeks. As usual, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe out there, guys, and take care.